in this uh, section of the video we are going to add false to different parameters and see how the uh, behavior of the sensor values changes so the given fault um, so we'll see how the faults are added these are the two equations we have for the current and for the um, angular velocity so we got our uh, resistance value here let's see first we add the fault to the resistance parameter the electrical resistance and then we can uh, extrapolate the same idea to other parameters as well we'll add fault and uh, this is the final equation of the fault will be played so re faulty will be re into 1 plus delta where delta will be some percentage change in the value of resistance as the as the resistance keeps on working this resistance the value of resistance keeps on increasing so at a time it happens that uh, the resistance is infinity almost close to infinity so no current can pass that's why 1 plus delta we put delta is as a percentage of the value of the resistance so we can use let's say 40 percent so if we want to detect if the change in resistance is 40 percent then we would like to identify so that's why we are putting delta is 40 percent in this case which will be our fault and how we are going to model this in the right hand side there is a simulink block where delta i have choose to be 0.5 like 50 percent you can just use a constant block and that should be uh, that should do it but there is a problem is this constant value stays constant throughout the time but what happens uh, if we want to introduce the fault in between sometimes then we can use the signal builder block available in MATLAB simulator the same function but here we'll use a signal builder as shown in the uh, below picture and the signal builder block can be the fault can be added anytime and uh, if we extrapolate the signal filter it looks something like that like this so here we need to change the axis to 300 seconds and then we can add our fault here also i have taken the fault to be 50 percent of the resistance value and the fault is added between 100 to 200 seconds between 100 to 200 seconds this will be the designated value that is 0 0.5 or else it will be zero that means there is no fault in the resistance now we are going to add the fault in the parameters let's start with the first parameter which is the resistance the electrical resistance to be specific So this this part is the one plus delta part and this is the re part re part and in this re into one plus delta this will be our faulty value of the re so because of the faulty value of re the current value changes as you can see here because we are adding fault between 100 to 200 second you can see there is a big gap in there as this is a fault what can we do now is we can make a subsystem out of it. It's called add fault. And now what we are going to do, we are going to place this in here for let's say first for resistance. So now if we run our system. Then you can see well there you, there you can see you can see a change in omega as well between 100 to 200 and you can see a change in the current value as well we can do the same thing suppose we we can change the say, color of this one so that it is easier to identify go to format 
background color and just put it red so it is easier to identify the faulty one this one on noise so b means uh, the noise add noise blocks and this is add fault block what can you do now i can just replicate it so i can just control control and just drag it suppose i want to add fault in the in the rm value as well so i can just put them in between and see now if i, if I run There's still the fault, like uh, because of the RM. If I if I don't want to have this fault, then I can just do comment through and run. See, this is just because of the RM. Before it was because of the RE and RM both type of faults. You can do any kind of parameter faults with this. The better way of doing this is to use a switch in this case. So suppose I have RE here. So what will I do? I'll go here. So that was it for this video.